Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for so much for stopping by and for the interest. Bonjour et bienvenue tout le monde, puis merci beaucoup pour votre intérêt. So we're going to talk about the moon today. We're going to actually talk about uh, something I just want to share with you guys. It's, um, I guess we could say a dream, a vision, more of a vision probably. Um, sometimes I get these visions probably from doing my research, but I, I never share them. I write them down and... Um, they're very interesting when I look over them and it often has to do with, you know, some of the mysteries in science that, you know, they say that we don't know about. These days we're talking about the tilt a lot an access, tilt in the axis, whether it be the tilt, you know, of our moon or the tilt of earth. That I'll never be able to confirm to you because I'm not a scientist. I'm an amateur astronomer. I'm a truth seeker. I'm just looking for truth for myself. And uh, I'm pretty sure when I understand the whole truth, if ever I will, probably never will, I'll keep it for myself. But as for sharing my ideals and my visions, I think, I think that's just freedom of speech, being able to express what I believe. And in my vivid dream, or this vision that I did have, I was brought back to a time many years ago i have no idea how how long ago i just know i felt like i felt i feel today meaning the flesh and blood you know feet on soil but in my dream i was on the surface of the moon and it was very vivid what what was being said around me um, all the people you know there was panic there was crying um, we were told apparently that when the tilt was going to occur and it wasn't full bloom at that time in my life either another maybe another life or just as i said it was just a dream um the tectonic plates were crossing paths on earth the shakes continued for days on end i remember people holding their heads crying some were sick some had died just chaos total confusion and chaos in my dream but the heavy rains began for days on end and then I came to this awakening or whatever message or just this thought in my head that the moon's oceans will fall back down to earth and that would occur and in my dream it made sense that when the tilt was to occur the shift well the waters that are now on on the moon the oceans over the moon which is entirely maybe enveloping the moon, would come back down here to Earth. And then I saw myself, and this, again, this was very vivid, and I had a long stick, and I went up to the river, and I put the stick in the water. And when I put the stick in the water, well, the stick looked bent, because when you look at a stick in the water, it looks bent. And then I started imagining that the reason why we were seeing the structures lying down maybe on the moon is because there's an envelope of water around the moon. The ark was in that dream. And we weren't on earth leaving earth. We were on the moon and we had to leave the moon to come here in my dream. And then, you know, when the waters went down, got off on the land and over the years we found ancient technology we found bones buried mass burials and in my head I just kept saying it was from this cycle from going back to the moon and to earth and to the moon and to earth and just before waking up I remembered that in my dream I, I was actually from the moon I was not from earth and the moon was the first place I had ever been but that I had wound up here on Earth. But then in the dream started getting so real that I started feeling emotions. And I, I felt that 
we had left a lot of people back when we left because we could not bring everyone because it happened so fast. But I can't help but wonder what happened to the ones that stayed back. I was given a very important task and so were many others, everyone that was part of the people coming from the moon. We had to, everything that was done was so serious. Everything was for a big reason. Everything was being documented. It was a new world right there, right in front of me. I was part of it in my dream. But the people were scared. And I remember in my dream, the people were afraid of what had happened. And for years and years and years and years and generations to come, they were afraid. So eventually that story, the whole story of how everyone had got here had been buried, kept the secret. So once again, people could have families and live happy lives without worry without knowing when that would occur again, many years further down the road. Well, it's a good thing that it was just a dream. I'm